So, welcome everyone. Um, you might have noticed something slightly different about this vlog. Uh, I am the proud owner of uh, quite an old KA, um, but runs like a trooper, which means that I can get to much more exciting locations, which is good for everyone, um, especially me and my camera. Um, today, I'm going to be driving over to Langdale, um, where I'm going to go to a place called Blee Tarn, which is epic, like out of Lord of the Rings kind of epic. Um, I'm going to be going there, I'm going to get my camera um, a little bit early, but that'll give me plenty of chance to explore the area and really find that comp composition that just whoa, blows you away. Fingers crossed the sky is going to light up, but in a dramatic way, not like this pretty little wisps of pinks and stuff like that, but like a really dramatic moody just after a storm. Um, but yeah, I'm going to set off, get on the road, and then go find Blue Tarn. So I'm not sure I've already mentioned this during the video so far, but I am in the Lake District. I know in the end of the last video I said, oh, I'm going to be moving to Scotland. That kind of fell through. And now we've moved to Coniston, um, which is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. But the best thing about Coniston is that places like this, Langdale, are not that far away once you've got a car. Um, in a minute, I'm going to be taking a drive up this horrible drive, this beeping horrible drive. Um, and yeah, it's gonna get hair raising, it's gonna get challenging, but I'm gonna video it and hopefully the GoPro will stay on the dashboard and then I'm gonna show you guys it. Look at this view. Isn't that incredible? I'm sorry about the dirty windows, but this is the mountain that we've come to shoot. But from the other side of there by a place called Blee Tarn, I've arrived uh, in the woods. Uh, wow, what a drive though. But I'm not the only photographer. There is another photographer there. Uh, I'm not sure how long he'll stay for, but there is a fisherman in the lake, uh, up in the tarn, sorry, in Blue Tarn. But I'm gonna head out now, go get my boots on, and then get this vlog underway. So it's looking pretty perfect right now and there's a massive big slit moody clouds that have be, has been there all day and it's lighting up the side of the mountain. I'm not sure what this mountain's called but it is incredible. With a little bit of touching up I reckon I might be able to give them an evening glow instead of the bright light from now. Um, I'm not sure if it's still going to be good later on so that's why it's worth to get the shot now and then in post processing I can warm the colour up whether uh, it doesn't show again, but the colour does come in the cloud. I can do a little bit of fiddling around with it to try and make it perfect. Um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have a little wander around the tarn and see if I can find a composition, something that works for me. Um, and works for my camera and my one lens. Uh, so fingers crossed I find something. And yeah, try and make something beautiful. So I've just asked for permission if I can photograph the uh, fisher, fisher woman, not fisherman, um, and she's absolutely fine with it, which is good. Um, 
Now what I need to do is work out where's best to set my tripod up and get this image. So instead of getting my tripod out straight away, what I am going to do is I'm going to get my camera out and I'm going to have a little walk around with my camera and then find the location that I want to set my tripod up. So I'm going to put my camera down now. Get my camera out and find the right composition. Now I've worked out my composition, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my tripod and then get it off. So I've got my first base exposure and what I've exposed for and focused for is the foreground. I want it all nice and lit up. So I'm going to take another shot again, but what I'm trying to do is I want a bit of an action shot. I want the fisher, fisherwoman in that, you know in that classic pose, rod back, just casting. Um, but it is fly fishing, so there's a lot of whipping backwards and forwards. So luckily, I get many opportunities to capture this little scene that I'm after. So now it's just a bit of waiting, really. So I've got it worked out now. So that's 60 for a second, F8, ISO 160. And now just to wait for the moment the magic moment. So I think I've captured the shot that I wanted of the, the action within the image. Um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to drop in a few fillers and just to sort of create something a little bit more special about the water. Hopefully take a little bit of the reflection away and a little bit of the mist, the haze out of the air by using my polarizer. I'm also going to drop in my free stop neutral uh, variated neutral density filler to sort of darken the sky a little bit and give that dramatic. Well, before I was focusing obviously on the fisherman, fisherwoman. And now I'm gonna change that slightly. I'm gonna zoom in on the mountain in the very, very background. And as you can see, it's not really all that sharp. I can get it absolutely pin sharp, as sharp as my eyes can see. And some focus stacking. Hopefully, I'll have a beautifully sharp image from front to back. So you see the dark sky above. I'll put that back on. And the dark dramatic sky. And then the mountains on either side. It'd be nice with a bit of light on them but it only helps guide your eye into the final image, the final focal point, which is the mountain. And look at that, it's so crisp and sharp. Beautiful. So what I've been doing is I have set my camera up and I've decided to go for a vertical camera, but I'm gonna do a panoramic because like I said before, I'm wanting to cut off the foreground here and I want my foreground to be the water. I think that would really add something special to it, especially if the sky does light up. Um, and then what I've done, because I'm gonna do a panoramic over time, is I've written down the degrees that I'm shooting at. And the reason why I've done that again is so when I blend the images together, all of the images are the same size. Because if you try and do a composite from a panoramic where all the images are slightly different because they've had a different amount of points taken, if you know what, I'm, what I mean. Sounds like I'm waffling. But they don't marry. They don't meet. They don't match. So you've got to be really, really pernickety and you've got to be really on point with how you blend them together because otherwise they just it just doesn't work it doesn't work at all so 
I've been here for a while. Um, and as you can probably see behind me, it's getting very dark and mysterious. I've been here for about an hour and a half now. Um, and it's quarter past seven. So I've got roughly about half an hour before I'll see signs of a good sunset or no sunset. Um, but <laughs> looking at what's happening now, um, it's not looking strong. It's not looking good. But I'm going to be patient. A good photographer is always patient because you never know what's going to happen. Um, there might just be a massive break in the clouds and it might just all light up. It might be clear over by the sea. Lots of might. Lots and lots of might. But I'm going to stay here. I'm going to stay true. I'm going to stay patient and positive. And then hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get something good. I'm not feeling good about it. I don't think there's going to be a sunset. I did make a deal with myself 10 more minutes from now and then I'll go if nothing happens. I'm going to wait 10 minutes. Okay, I think I am going to come back here another time when it's looking a little bit more promising and there's been better light. I'm still very happy with the images that I've got, don't get me wrong. It's not done what I know it can, if you know what I mean. If you know there's still potential to be had, it's definitely worth revisiting. And this is one location, like, look at that. This is one location where I know there is gonna be, there is gonna be a better chance. And it might be an early morning with the sun rising over this side, casting that beautiful light over on the mountains on the other side. Gonna have to find out the name of that mountain. Uh, but this is the Langdale area, if you are wanting to come. Bleetan, Langdale area. This is going to be the end of the vlog. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the images. They'll have been put in there somewhere, I'm sure. Um, thank you for watching. Stay tuned. There's going to be many, many more to come. Just need to find more locations in the local area. Um, but yeah, see you later.